Hey everybody, it's Krabby here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use the newest version of Reshade and how it works with Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, Reshade is the newest way to inject shaders over games uh, with with its own personal shaders, Sweet FX, a, a, a bunch of different options. It's really awesome. You will not get banned for using this with Elder Scrolls Online. This does not edit game files. This does not alter, this does not change anything. All it does is it adds a visual overlay on the screen. You are completely safe using this. Okay, now that that's out of the way, the first thing we want to do is you're going to want to go to reshade.me reshade.me this website this is where you can download the newest version of the program and everything so <clears throat> let's uh... This, will, this is what you'll see click the download button and it'll shoot you down there uh... now right there now the legacy downloads these are the older versions we're not going to touch those the download button in the middle should be the newest one so we're going to click that Mediafire, download. Now while that's downloading, we can close that, we can close the Reshade website, and now this is where we'll go if you want a preset for your uh, Reshade program. <clears throat> You're going to want to go to sfx.thelazy.net, right there, and it'll take you here. Now let's find, El now you know, in the search tab, type in Elder Scrolls Online. Hit enter. Now you're going to see two pop up or more. Always click the top. Generally the top one is the oldest, which means it's the actual one. I don't know why people create other versions of games like for, for these presets, but always click the top one. Now, <clears throat> we have a whole bunch of stuff that, gee, what does any of this mean? You know, this is the name of the preset, <clears throat> the date it was added, who it's by, screenshots, downloads, the shader. Shader is the most important one you want to look at. Now, we just downloaded Reshade. What shader is that? It's the Reshade shader. So, anything that says Reshade Framework is what you can use. There's only six, six right now. Um, my personal favorite is Sectas Enhancement LUT. 16,000 downloads. There's only two videos, two, two, there's only two screenshots, but that's fine. <clears throat> so we're going to want to click on this. Um, he gives you a brief description about what it does. If you want to see how it changes the game, <clears throat> you can click on the screenshots tab. Now the great thing about this is it's a comparison screenshot. So you can actually mouse over it. With this particular preset if you look in the sky you can actually tell the difference more what this one does is it gets rid of a lot of the gray it is a, the game has like a gray film over it this removes that essentially it cleans up the image really nice it doesn't make it more vibrant or anything it actually has a special shader that corrects the colors in a very a very good way it doesn't deviate from the original idea of the game, it just cleans the image up, so... <clears throat> looks great. Now, a lot of presets will have its own separate download link. Do not click download preset, this is usually not it. <clears throat> it's deceiving, I know. You're gonna wanna click on whatever download link they have in the description. So let's click that. And download. Okay. We can close out all this, and now we have our two uh, things we just downloaded. Now, what I like to do is, I like, or, or actually, it's not what I like to do, it's what you have to do. If you want to use Reshade permanently, you have to put it in a place where you will never move it. If you set up Reshade, say you extract it to your downloads folder, and you and you and then you use it and set it up, it's not going to work if you move it. You have to put Reshade in a permanent location before you use it. So this is what I like to do. I have a stuff folder. I have a SweetFX folder with all my SweetFX for games. So I'm going to make a new folder. We'll call it Reshade. Open it up. And with WinRAR open, we're going to select all this and just drag it over here. 
It'll extract. If if you don't have WinRAR, generally you can just right click on it and click Extract Hair, and it'll spit it all out. But that's one way you can do it. Okay. <clears throat> so now that we have this extracted into a place that's not going to go anywhere, we have the preset. We're going to right click on it, click Extract Hair. Now it's going to be right there. We're going to open up this, and it's going to have a reshade folder. This is the preset in there. We're going to look at the reshade folder. As long as you see this folder, it's good. We're going to copy it right in here, and it's going to overwrite that. But don't drag it on it. Just drag it in the folder. All right, bam. Now it's in there. We can delete these. Okay. <clears throat> now before you open Reshade Assistant, this is the program. You're going to want to right-click on it. Click Properties. <clears throat> it's going to say this file came from another computer and might be blocked. Click Unblock because it is a safe file. There's nothing wrong with this. You can unblock it. You're going to want to do that. Click on Compatibility. Run this program as administrator. Click Apply. OK. And now we're good to go. <clears throat> now we're going to want to open this up. We got a little EULA that opens up. We can close this. Now we're going to see this lovely window pop up. It should be set on the Profiles window. Now, just be careful because as soon as you mouse over these, like you know, if you mouse over these, it changes them like crazy. I don't know why. But um, so we're on the Profiles page, all right? <clears throat> we're going to click the plus sign right there. Now we're going to navigate to our Elder Scrolls Online EXE files. So we're going to go to Zenimax Online, Elder Scrolls Online, Game Folder, Client Folder. There's two very important files in here. ESO.EXE and ESO64.EXE. If you use the 64-bit client and you want this to work with it, double-click on the 64 ESO64. If you use the regular game, which means you open it through the launcher and you play it that way. That means you use the 32-bit client. As of the as of this video, it defaults to the 32-bit client. So we're gonna do it the regular way and do the 32-bit client. So click on that, click OK, Oop, open. Now this it's gonna this is gonna pop up. This is the selection of. Um, a graphics APIs that whatever game you chose is going to select. For some reason, this program likes to default ESO to OpenGL, which actually isn't correct. The game is actually DirectX 11, but for some reason, we can't select it. I don't know why. So it's going to be on OpenGL. You shouldn't have to do anything. Leave it the way it is. Click Confirm. Now ESO is set. We're going to mouse over to the Presets tab, and it's going to fire over. We're going to click on Secta. Click Save. Confirm. We're going to mouse over to Shaders. Now, all of these have checkboxes. They should all be unchecked except for... scroll. Use the mouse wheel to scroll down. Tuning Palette. This is actually the default setting for this preset. I would not recommend messing with this shader only because it's set very specifically. So leave that the way it is. However, one setting I, I personally love is Luma Sharpen. It sharpens the image up, makes it look really nice. So I'm going to put a check mark in that. Click on it so it highlights it right there. And the mouse over to Values. Now, the default sharp strength is 0 0.65. The max is 3, 3.00. So I'm going to set it to 1.00. The clamp and the all these settings, I wouldn't mess with these unless you know what you're doing. The strength is the one setting you should be able to mess with and it'll be fine. So I just enabled Luma Sharpen. I set it. I'm going to click Save and Confirm again. And there we go. We can X out of it. Close this. I'm going to open up. Oh, yes, this worked correctly. Open up Elder Scrolls Online through the launcher. This does work with the launcher, by the way. You don't have to... That, this, that's the beautiful thing about this. You don't have to fumble with user settings or anything. It works great. Okay. Now, let's see. 
Great. Up here in the top left corner, you're going to see, if you see reshade dot to all that, if you see all that text, that means it's working. Even right now in the menu, you can actually tell. You press, if you press scroll lock. I'm, it might be kind of hard in the video for it to come up, but you should be able to tell. This is off. It's kind of gray. On. Oop, on. A little darker, a little sharper. Let's get in game and actually see what it looks like, though. Okay, we're in game now. Right now, the preset is on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in on my character a little bit. I'm gonna turn it off. Ooh. So right now it's off, and the game feels a little dull. Not so. It's not clean looking. I'm gonna turn it back on. Everything is sharpened up. It removes that gray film over it. Now, like I said, it's going to be really hard to tell on a compressed YouTube video the actual changes. You have to really get in-game. <clears throat> you have to get in-game and mess with this. I bet I do. You have to get in-game and turn it on and off to really see the effects of it. This particular preset is a very subtle change. It's not a, it doesn't add vibrancy everywhere. It's not very drastic. It, it, it makes the image cleaner and sharper. Doesn't adjust the colors that much. So let's do it again. Right now it's on. Off. If, if you're looking closely, there's a gray film over the screen. Right now it's off. On. Wipes it all away. The image looks sharper. Now let's, let's get a good look at my armor. Armor is a really good detail to look at. So right now it's on. You can see all the details in the helmet and everything. And on the chest piece, let's turn it off. A good bit of those details kind of fade away. It doesn't look sharp, really. When you turn it on, it sh makes it a little more shiny. It makes everything pop out a little more. It This this particular preset is great for this. Now, um, you're good to go. You can go back into the reshade program, adjust the settings to whatever you like, mess with different shaders, experiment, see if you can come up with a great preset. Personally, I like ones that don't deviate from what the developers want me to see. I like using ones that have subtle changes that don't drastically change what the game looks like. That's why this one... That's why this one just sharpens the image up a bit, makes it a little less gray, a little, little more vibrant, very little bit, but I love it. It suits me great. Um, you might not like it, Look for a different preset. Try to make your own. That's what I would recommend doing. Um, Alright, that is the end of this uh, tutorial. This is the newest way to install SweetFX slash Reshade with ESO. Works with the launcher. You don't have to mess with any other settings, with user settings, or anything. It should just work the way I showed you. <clears throat> Alright, if anybody has any questions, please comment on the video. You can contact me on YouTube, um, on Twitter, at Krabby654. You can contact me in-game at Krabby654. Ask me any questions if you have any problems with it. I'm free. I'm, I hope I covered everything that you need to know in this video. It should, you should be good to go with this. Alright, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in Tamriel. Goodbye.